goodness. Look at this. Don't you all look so cute? I think we might have to break out the king size bars for this bunch. Kids, wait! You're about to make a terrible mistake! <laughs> Who are you? I'm Fran Drescher. <laughs> Drescher, what, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? I'm here to teach you how to do Halloween during a strike. Oh, that's right. Since the actors are on strike, the Guild asks members not to wear costumes based on movies or TV characters. Exactly. Because then we'd be promoting the companies we're striking against, which makes all of these children a bunch of adorable scabs. <laughs> change, kids, before it's too late. Thanks, Fran. Wow, now that was a close one. Is it really that big a deal? Well, you got a lot of nerve talking to me like that when you're dressed up as Sloth from the Goonies. I'm not, I'm not dressed as Sloth, I'm just holding the baby roof. Are there any costumes that are okay? I'm glad you asked. There are many great characters you can still be for Halloween. For example, Harry Potter as described only in the book. I look just a little bit off, and that's a good thing. Or how about minor characters from the Bible who have not appeared in any film adaptation? I'm Zoha, son of Ishi who forget Ben Zoha. See, who needs Iron Man when you have Zoha, son of Ishi who forget Ben Zoha? Yeah, these kids don't look happy. I know. It's scary what the movie studios are doing to our children, isn't it? That's why we've been picketing for a hundred days. That must be exhausting. Hey, did you just call me exhausting? No. Well, a lot of people have. Okay, back to costumes. <laughs> Unfortunately, this year you can't be Yoda, but you can be Hoda. <laughs> Wait, why is that one okay? Isn't she on TV? Well, daytime and reality TV are okay, which means that you're dressed fine because you're dressed as one of the perverts from To Catch a Predator. <laughs> this is just my regular outfit. What if people already bought a costume before the strike? Good question. With small adjustments, many costumes can be strike friendly. For example, say you're dressed as Wolverine. Just drop the claws and voila, now you're any gay guy over 50. <laughs> in terms even a drunk child can understand. <laughs> Negotiating with the studios is a lot like trick-or-treating. You know how you go to the biggest house on the block and all the lights are off and they're pretending they're not home? But you can see them through the window eating Kit Kat bars, dozens of Kit Kat bars, billions of Kit Kat bars, <laughs> numbers of Kit Kat bars. All us actors are saying is break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Wow. When you put it like that, it, it makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Love your costume, by the way. Kevin Bacon's pedophile character from 2004's The Woodsman. <laughs> I'm not Walter. You know his name? <laughs> I have one more costume idea. She's a strong, confident woman who dominated the summer and is an inspiration to girls everywhere. Barbie. 
Nope, the nanny. Wait. But isn't the nanny intellectual property owned by the studios? Oh, I wouldn't call her intellectual. <laughs> hey! 